Welcome again to Educator.com to the labeled How to Write a Great Research Paper. Now, I say how to write a great research paper, but this is a little bit like saying how to play the guitar really awesome, or how to be the best baseball player, or how to be the best track runner. These are the steps that you're going to take that are going to introduce you to how to write a great research paper but only practice and hours of blood, sweat, and tears will really, really help you to do this. So consider this your first introduction that you'll be doing over and over again with every other English class that you're ever in and even every other science or psychology class that you'll be taking in college. This is just the beginning, just the tip of the iceberg, but it'll point you in the right direction to get you going. So our previous steps went like this. If you remember way back to the beginning of the essay, review it if you need to. But to get to a topic and a thesis is just brainstorming to topic and then to eventually thesis. If you remember those steps, they should be familiar to you. And they're still going to be useful. Except when we're doing a research paper, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. We're going to get brainstorm, topic, gather information, and then we're going to form a thesis. Why do I have to gather information to form a thesis? Well, because you don't know what you don't know. You're ignorant, and we're all ignorant about things we haven't learned how to learn yet. And as we gather information, as we pour through books, as we surf the internet, as we process a lot of information, our opinions and our ideas and the information that we want to present in the thesis is going to change. Sometimes you're just researching information to just add information and show that you can do it. In fact, that's all I'm really asking for here. But this is going to be a very complicated step, but it will help you. So when you pick a topic, again, just go with that big area of interest. Think back to the last lesson. Think back to the questions I have. Pick an area of interest. Pick a topic that you care about. The one you care about the most is the one you're going to have the best time and the most fun researching, and you won't get burned out and you'll have fun. Now, if I gave you a topic on something you didn't care about, like let's say how the pyramids were built, Maybe, maybe you wouldn't be so excited about that one. So be sure to pick an interest you care about. Also, it's very important to pick something you already know something about. The more you know about a topic, the easier it is it's going to be to learn more about the topic. Also, if you already know something, then you're already, well, halfway there and ready to go. So you can also find something that you've read about in a book or magazine etc. already. Think about that Wikipedia game. Think about these, the times you've gone to the library by now. Think about some books you've read or maybe a magazine you picked up while you were at the dentist's office or something like that. You got some information already. You're already getting started and ready to go. Also, number four, this is a very important rule. You need to make sure you pick something that is small and manageable. Bigger does not mean better. Bigger just means more work. So if you're really not sure where to go, then you can always go back to the find things to read lesson and play the Wikipedia game again. That'll help you brainstorm, get some stuff going, and you'll be able to pick something. Now, 